The Megalodon is well known as one of the biggest animals to have ever existed on Earth. Wow. These huge sharks were true behemoths. That's why it's so surprising that there were things that could beat them in a fight. <laughs> yeah, really. These are the biggest Megalodon enemies to ever exist. Number 2. Number 15. Giant Squid The giant squid is a real-life kraken. For decades, scientists knew they existed but couldn't get footage of one. And that's because they live in the deep waters of the ocean, too deep for us or our machines to reach without succumbing to the water pressure. But recently, a group of Japanese scientists got the first one on video. And they are really, really big. The one that was recorded was 43 feet long. That's taller than a four-story house. The giant squid is so large and strong that it can easily kill and eat a great white shark. Most beautiful creatures I've ever seen. And when I say easily, I mean the great white wouldn't have a chance at all of surviving. They can also win over killer whales, which is no easy task at all. The giant squid is ruthless, slimy, highly intelligent, and deadly. So if a megalodon and a giant squid could have ever met, I would put my money on the giant squid. But the truth is, we won't ever see a face-off between these two, because the megalodon has been extinct for a long time now. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the odd topic. The Titanoboa sure was a big, gnarly beast. These now extinct snakes grew to extraordinary sizes, some reaching a length of 42 feet and a weight of 2,500 pounds. That is a lot of snake. Depending on where they were to meet and the circumstances surrounding it, there's a chance that if a Titanoboa and a Megalodon were to come to blows, the snake might just beat the shark. But what do you think? Which of these legendarily massive creatures do you feel would win in a brawl? Let us know. As always, comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Mosasaurus the Mosasaurus was a gigantic marine lizard of the late Cretaceous. It lived in what we call today the North Atlantic Ocean. It was a carnivorous creature and was insanely big. The largest species could grow up to over 50 feet long. It had a very strong skull and the jaw was filled with large, razor-sharp teeth. It had a very sturdy midsection and an extremely powerful tail. They ate anything that crossed their path, like fish, plesiosaurs, and even other mosasaurus. So if one of these ginormous reptiles could easily kill one of their own, that means they could have easily killed a megalodon as well. The only advantage the megalodon would have had is that the mosasaurus needs to breathe air, much like whales do. So if the megalodon was lucky enough to hold it underwater for long enough, the lizard would have drowned. The megalodon was slightly bigger at 58 feet long, but that mean tail would have posed a serious problem. And when it comes to strength and power, my money's on the gigantic reptile. Number 13. Blue Whale the blue whale isn't a predator, it doesn't even eat meat. It eats plankton and krill, which are basically tiny baby shrimp and larvae of marine creatures. But they have one important advantage over the megalodon. They are the biggest animal ever known to have lived on the Earth. I can't stress enough how big these magnificent marine animals are. Some of them can reach lengths of over 100 feet, and they weigh in at 200 tons. That makes them roughly about 
twice as big as the Megalodon. In other words, they might be gentle giants, but I wouldn't recommend messing with a blue whale. They have an extremely powerful tail, strong enough to tip over a huge cargo boat. So if a Megalodon would encounter one and decided to make a snack out of the blue whale, I bet it would be very surprised. The blue whale can hit the Megalodon in the head and completely knock it out within seconds. There's also the fact that I doubt the Megalodon would attack such a huge animal. But if it did, I think the blue whale would put up a ruthless fight. Number 12. Liopleurodon the Liopleurodon was a large marine carnivore. It belonged to the reptile family. It lived during the Middle Jurassic period some 160 million years ago. They could grow up to 50 feet, had an elongated skull, a short, sturdy neck, and four long flippers attached to a very thick torso. It's estimated that their average weight would have been around 10 tons for a fully grown adult. It was one of the apex predators of the seas that covered Europe. Although the Liopleurodon was significantly smaller than the Megalodon, and it was also quite a slower swimmer, it was incredibly powerful. It had one of the best senses of smell at the time, which it used to locate prey from very far away. They were extremely deadly and very efficient predators. It's not for nothing that they were at the top of the food chain in their natural habitat. Their teeth measured at least 7 centimeters, and they had an extremely strong bite force. So, despite the fact that the Megalodon and the Liopleurodon never lived at the same time, I bet the Megalodon wouldn't have been happy to swim across one of these gigantic marine reptiles. Number 11. Pliosaurs Pliosaurs, or commonly known as Predator X, lived from 220 million years ago to 70 million years ago, from the Triassic period to the Cretaceous period. They inhabited the oceans that covered modern-day Europe. They were not dinosaurs, but rather distant cousins of living turtles. But they were much more deadly than modern-day turtles. They had four powerful flippers, very large heads resembling a crocodile, an extremely powerful jaw, and insanely big and sharp teeth. Think a gigantic murder turtle on steroids. Pliosaurs were one of the biggest animals of their time, and they were ferocious predators. They could reach lengths of over 50 feet. They attacked their prey very similarly to how modern-day great white sharks hunt by stunning the prey and then attacking from beneath. This technique was extremely effective and deadly. Just imagine a 50-foot-long reptile launching at a megalodon from beneath. The megalodon wouldn't have a chance at all. Needless to say, they were at the absolute top of the food chain, and nobody could defeat them, not even the mighty megalodon. Although, to see a battle between the two would have been nothing short of epic. Number 10. Basilosaurus the name literally means King Lizard, because at first, scientists believed it to be a reptile, but it was later discovered that it was, in fact, an early marine mammal. So we know now that the Basilosaurus is an ancient, predatory, prehistoric whale that lived during the late Eocene, some 41 to 63 million years ago. They could measure from 49 to 66 feet in length, making it one of the largest animals to have ever existed. It lived in a shallow ocean that is nowadays Alabama, and it had a very slender body, making it look almost like a gigantic snake. It was an apex predator of its time. It could swim with outstanding agility, and it had long and sharp teeth. To kill their prey, they would target the head first to make sure to kill it quickly. This technique, as you can imagine, was extremely effective, especially considering the enormous size of the Basilosaurus. Scientists found bite marks on several remains of very large animals caused by the king lizard. So this gigantic carnivorous whale would have definitely put up a fight against a megalodon. Number 9. Tylosaurus the Tylosaurus was a true marine nightmare. It was the deadliest predator of the ancient seas. Its jaws were a true death trap to whatever unfortunate creature had the misfortune of crossing its path. 
Its jaws were lined on each side with two rows of pointy, cone-shaped, massive teeth, and it was able to swallow whole any prey. And then, once inside such a terrifying trap, the victim would find two extra rows of teeth on the roof of the sea monster's mouth. You know, just in case the prey wants to escape. They could grow up to be at least 39 feet long, and the largest specimens ever found were over 52 feet long. This creature of the deep seas was a true monster. It was strong, filled with menacing teeth, strong, intelligent, and ruthless. They ruled the seas during the late Cretaceous period, and they are closely related to modern-day monitor lizards and to snakes. They had powerful muscles that gave them an exceptional ability to ram other animals, and scientists believe they used them to enter in combat with other specimens of their own species, fighting over prey, females, and territory. Knowing all this, it's easy to see how difficult it would be for a megalodon to win a fight against the mighty Tylosaurus. Number 8. Kronosaurus the name of this creature literally translates to Lizard of Kronos, and Kronos was, in fact, the most powerful titan in Greek mythology. They could reach sizes up to 9 or 10 meters in length, but only their head was the size of an average human being. Their body weight could reach a staggering 11 tons of pure muscle and power and teeth. They were a predatory creature, probably at the top of the food chain in their environment. They used their teeth, the size of bananas to completely rip through skin and bone, leaving nothing behind. The largest Kronosaurus tooth ever found was a whopping 30 centimeters long. Just imagine a full set of these gigantic teeth. Nothing could defeat them. They feed primarily on fish and other undersea creatures, including marine dinosaurs and even smaller species of Kronosaurus. They were vicious and ruthless and not to be messed with, not even by the all almighty megalodon. They lived in the large inland ocean that covered modern-day western Queensland, and to everybody that lives there, I bet you're happy that these absolute monsters are extinct. Number 7. Macroraptorial Sperm Whale just imagine a very large whale that doesn't feed on plankton like the living ones today, but that hunts for prey and has the largest teeth you've ever seen. That is the Macroraptorial Whale. They live during the Miocene Epoch and they belong to the sperm whale family. Except these ones were apex predators, which means they were at the absolute top of the food chain. They were gigantic, reaching lengths of 44 to 57 feet, and their teeth alone could be a staggering 12 inches long, and of course, as sharp as a razor and even interlocking so that they could hold on to their unfortunate prey. They are one of the biggest teeth in the history of the Earth, so it's easy to imagine that a megalodon wouldn't have a chance with these hyper-predatory and colossal whales. They used echolocation to locate their prey from very far away. So this thing could be coming at you and it wouldn't even be on your radar yet. Macroraptorial sperm whales were extremely deadly and very skilled predators. And even if the megalodon was very dangerous as well, my money's on the whale. I mean, look at their teeth. Number 6. Helicoprion Imagine a 26-foot-long shark that has a saw instead of a jaw. That is the Helicoprion, and it was as real as you and me. It has a tooth whorl that acted exactly like a wood saw. The teeth would bite in a spiral instead of an up-and-down motion like most animals today. That means that the Helicoprion could cut in half just about anything that crossed its path. It was significantly smaller than the Megalodon, but with a built-in wood saw in its skull, it could pretty much take by surprise any adversary. And to make things even more gnarly, the super deadly spiral of teeth was only in their lower jaw, and in the upper jaw, they had even more teeth. The damage they could cause was uncanny. They would absolutely destroy anything that got close to their mouths. And because of the bizarre display of teeth, they could sink them into anything at all, no matter how big or how powerful its prey. This thing was a living and breathing marine power tool, and I don't think the Megalodon would have had any chance at all. Number 5. 
Shonisaurus. This gigantic marine monster could reach the whopping length of 69 feet long. Nice, making it one of the biggest marine creatures of all time. The Shonisaurus lived during the Norian Age, about 210 million years ago. They had a very long snout and also very long and narrow flippers, which means they were excellent and fast swimmers. They had large, socketed teeth that could inflict horrific injuries to whatever unfortunate animal would cross their path. With such a majestic size, it would be very hard to convince a Megalodon to attack a Shonisaurus. I mean, there's a 10-foot difference. Imagine a whale-sized crocodile with a taste for flesh and the skills of a hunter. The Shonisaurus was absolutely deadly and fearless. Scientists think that this enormous predator was probably at the top of the food chain during the Norian Age, and there isn't any proof that it had any natural predators of its own. And that is because no animal in their right mind would mess with the Shonisaurus. We're talking about one of the biggest, meanest predators in the history of our planet. Number 4. Lead Sick This When it comes to monstrous size, nothing is compared to the gigantic, colossal, titanic Lead Sick This. Some science publications estimate its size at 105 feet long. That's the size of 10 cars lengthwise end to end. A fish like this would dwarf any other monster you put next to it. The Lead Sick This was a Mesozoic ray finned fish that lived during the Middle Jurassic period when the oceans were extremely dangerous and filled with all kinds of nightmarish creatures waiting to take a bite out of you. But the lead sick this was a gentle giant. It fed only on tiny fish and shrimp, which is called plankton, just like modern day whales do. But their mind blowing size made it difficult for predators to mess with them. A strike of the tail on the head, and you're dead instantly. They weren't very fast swimmers either, but even the largest predator of that time wouldn't have been able to inflict a fatal wound to the lead Sicthus. Only an army of megalodons could maybe put a lead Sicthus in danger. When you don't have teeth or speed, size can be an extremely effective weapon. Just ask the lead Sicthus. Number 3. Cretoxyrhina. Cretoxyrhina. Try saying that three times fast. The name may be tough to read, but you would not want to get its name wrong in front of it. The great white shark of its time, the Cretoxyrhina, was known to measure up to 26 feet in length and weighed in at nearly 5,000 kilograms. This may be nearly half the size of the largest megalodon, but its razor sharp teeth would make bite sized chunks out of the largest of sea monsters. This formidable predator from the late Cretaceous seas had the very apt nickname of the Ginsu Shark. Obviously named after the slicing and dicing kitchen knife, the Cretoxyrhino would rip apart its prey with razor sharp teeth up to 8 centimeters in length. Clearly built for stabbing and crushing its prey with such force that bones would be crushed like candy. As an apex predator, it played an important role in the marine ecosystem it inhabited. No surprise there. With hunting speeds of up to 43 miles per hour and inflicting such forceful blows, would the Megalodon even stand a chance? It would surely be an impressive sight to see the Cretoxyrhina try to hunt one. Number 2. Shastasaurus Named after Mount Shasta, the Shastasaurus is the largest marine reptile known up until 2018. It lived in the late Triassic period and three different species have been found in Canada, United States, and China. Up to 21 meters in length, it's no wonder they were the largest reptile. However, despite its size, it is in fact very slender in profile. The largest specimens had the very small rib cage of less than 2 meters, despite a distance of over 7 meters between its flippers. But the most unique thing is that the Shastasaurus has one of the most specialized mouths of all known ichthyosaurs. Imagine this for a predator. Its jaws are both short and toothless. The snout was incredibly highly compressed by a unique arrangement of, yep, you guessed it, skull bones. 
but what they lack in teeth, they make up for in suction power. This suction feeder lived off unshelled cephalopods and fish. So would it be a match for the mighty Megalodon? Well, size-wise, it is humongous, so it certainly matches it in that field. I guess it would have to use that skull bone snout to suck the life out of the Megalodon. Number 1. Megalodon there are always family disputes, brother to brother, sister to sister, or vice versa. So what would happen if two megalodons came head to head? Imagine a disagreement between two such monsters. That would be an epic battle of pure muscle and mega teeth. Remember, the megalodon is thought to be the largest shark or largest fish that has ever lived, with many similarities to the modern great white shark that we all know and fear. However, the megalodon's teeth dwarf those of the great white massively, so just imagine the damage they could do to each other. The largest findings believe they grew up to 58 feet in length and weighed in at a whopping 143,000 pounds of pure meat and muscle. These apex predators, or top carnivores, would normally hunt large whales, but what if these huge, scary, aggressive sharks took a disliking to each other? They could be their own worst first enemy. Would you step in to try and break up that fight? With heads the size of cars? I don't think so. Let these two gigantic marine monsters battle it out for the right to their kingdom. As you can see, the biggest, strongest, meanest shark to have ever existed could have been defeated by quite a lot of other marine monsters, and we are still discovering new ones every day. Knowing all these new sea monsters, which one do you think deserves the title of King and Queen of the Oceans? Is that creature on this list? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!